Here we have world-renowned chef and director Vikas Khanna. So you are here on behalf of the film The Last Color, but you were first a chef. So um, what was it like that inspired you to be a chef? I think uh, understanding that people have, everyone has different lives in the family, but the moment the food was served, everyone came together on the table. And I saw a much bigger perspective of food when I was at the Golden Temple because I was born and raised in Amritsar. And I understood the sense of secularism in cuisine, the inclusiveness in cooking. And I also understood that how the one who grows the crop to the point where the whole cycle, where who grinds it and who actually cooks and then who actually serves and actually eats and then the person who cleans. There were so many stages in cooking which really inspired me. It was like a poetry because I felt that there's so many stages which doesn't happen to any form of other arts. It's consumer to the artist, or you know, it's like almost like so. But here, there's so many layers to it, and everyone recognizes food. So I said, "Oh my God, this is the one profession I want to dedicate my life to." So, what was the transition like from the food world to the film world? You know, people have been very awestruck that how come a guy who was, who had a Michelin star is making a movie, and people had been some people had criticized and some people have really admired it. I just feel that if you have a heart to tell the story, you're going to find a way to tell the story. And I feel that discipline in the kitchen really helped me, the discipline in shooting, where I was before time, I was over prepared. And if you look at cooking or in a Michelin star restaurant and making a movie, it's almost similar. You spend hours in training, you spend hours and hours in preparation. And then there's this one minute test where you have to cook and it has to be plated and it has to be served. Exactly like movie making. There's so much of preparation and everything can go wrong on the way. And that's the beauty of cooking and filmmaking. But then you have that one minute, that little sacred moment when you get that perfect shot you wanted, like the perfect creation of the dish. Okay, so you are here for the film The Last Color, but you actually also wrote the book it was based off of. So can you tell us about what inspired you to actually write and direct The Last Color? So I didn't want to direct the movie. I did not know how to direct a movie. I'd only done documentaries. So I used to Google all the time, how do you actually make a movie? And there are some amazing videos of kids like you have posted. Look at the video I've made. I'm like, wow, this is so inspiring. But actually I'd written a book which was called, a short story which was called Colorless and no one published it because people relate me only to cooking and I can publish almost any kind of genre of cooking. But doing a fiction was very hard. And I wrote to New York Times. I did, I want to write for New Yorker magazine. And I want to write for these things to talk about the story about these women in part of India who are not allowed to touch color because they are widows. And I thought that was such a way of, uh, such a harsh punishment for people to be living without color. And that had really moved me. And later, because I couldn't get any director, I said, okay, let me direct it myself. Okay, so how did you like directing? Um, direction is very strange, because when you, when you cook, you put the food in front, it gets consumed, and that's the end of the cycle. But in movie making, there's a cycle of immortality. You made the movie, and it's gonna be there forever. I think that is what I really enjoyed about when I saw the movie for the first time. I thought, wow, this will stay forever, even after I'm gone. Okay, so the movie stars actress Nina Gupta, so what was it like working with her? You know, I went to Nina Gupta's house to impress her, which many of you filmmakers will be have to doing it. You'll be going to the cast you think is perfect for the movie, and when you go to the house, you need to impress them. You get five minutes. And I kept talking, 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 and then I wanted to look at her. I wanted to ask her, are you impressed? We were working the movie. And I did not realize that I'm telling her the most strange scene where she's dead. <laughs> and she's looking at me. You're narrating the, me the scene in which I'm... But she is amazing. She understood that I'm not a movie maker, but she loved my organicness, the way I worked with natural light, the way I worked with single cameras, and the way I made her dance, and made her practice for one week for the dance. She loved it. Okay, well... Thank you so much for speaking with Absolutely. us, and um, I hope you, I wish you luck on your screening of The Last Color. Okay.